Uh, the next use case is something that we hear a lot of is we need to understand what's going on, the performance and the key performance indicators. And there's many different variations uh, of this um, uh, theme or idea. And, and it really comes down to, we, we just we realize we don't completely understand uh, our performance and the downtime causes, the key performance indicators, uh, however you may call this, uh, whether it's OEE for overall equipment effectiveness or just data logging or trending in, in general. Uh, what I've seen over the years is going into facilities and, and a supervisor might ask uh, one of the maintenance staff, hey, um, what, what is the worst problem or what's the most downtime causing thing that we have on this machine? And he'll think about it for a second and he'll say, well, you know, last week we had blah, blah, blah thing. And uh, it, it turns out <laughs> humans are just notoriously bad at remembering uh, all those details. So by being able to log trend um, to databases, local files, cloud-based, and being able to get that information and analyze that uh, really uh, completely gives you the ability to measure it and make uh, data-driven decisions. Now, within Aviva Edge, we've got a lot of different solutions here, and I, I apologize for a lot of the different text here. I'm going to simplify this and just do a uh, a, a couple of different uh, things. We have the ability to log uh, not only to a local file in the hard drive, but also to uh, databases, SQL relational databases, and it can be any uh, SQL relational database. It could be a Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle, uh, MySQL, Postgres, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, also, we have the ability to use the Aviva historian either on-premises or what's called the Aviva Insight in the cloud and push data to that. And, and that uh, is something very easy to do. Let me flip back over to the development environment here. And as you put tags and things that you're monitoring in the project, one of the really easy things to do is, is here is flip over to tasks and set up a trend worksheet or a trend logger worksheet. And if I just right click on that and insert, and I put my list of tags here, by the way, this will this list will grow to thousands of line items long if you're not limited to these four or five. You can put a tag in here. Uh, it does not have to be time-based. It could be, uh, in this case, it's the second clock of the, the computer, but it could be uh, end of cycle of the machine, end of process, end of batch. Uh, you get to You get to trigger that as necessary or you can save whenever there's a tag change. Now this lets you very easily, uh, if there's any problems, any, any tags that change, being able to uh, get that uh, log, that entire list log to a database. Now moving on, that, that will by default log to a proprietary uh, database on the uh, proprietary text file on the hard drive, on the local hard drive. And by the way, you do have the ability to set up what's called history, lifetime, and days. So if you only want to keep 30, 60, 90 days uh, around that, just to ensure that you won't fill up your hard drive, uh, you can do that as well. Now, um, moving on be beyond the uh, text file on the hard drive, you can move to a SQL database and be able to get that into any uh, SQL relational database. Very, very easy. And we've got lots of demos online. If you If you need a demo of how to do that, and how easy that is. I usually challenge customers to uh, time me and I can do it typically under five minutes, but uh, for sure under 10. Um, but what's really nice is you don't need, we don't require a, an external SQL database. You can, and again, use that local text file on the hard drive. The third type of data here is going to the historian. Now, if that's uh, the Aviva historian on-premises, we have a way to configure that. We also have a way to get to Aviva Insight in the cloud and um, really being able to do that very, very easily. Uh, so there's your th uh, really three, almost four different types of data collection uh, and, and different ways to do that. Now, um, uh, all of these basically say uh, what I just mentioned, uh, third-party support, but not only data uh, logging, but for alarms and events as well, and, and really be able to trace and track what's going on in your uh, production environment, your, your application. And again, being able to take that data from the edge type devices, whether that's valves, pumps, motor controls, 
uh, whole machines, whatever you consider the edge, so to speak, uh, being able to get that data, uh, not only just kind of a pass through, but uh, also more of a uh, data acquisition, data manipulation, and, and aggregate that data, filter, contextualize that information before you send it to where you need to analyze that, whether it's a cloud-based analytics or on-premises historian. And, and often when I show this, this um, uh, slide, what I like to do is draw a giant circular arrow here because really you need to take that, that information that you've gained from that analytics and, and, and feed it back into your system and, and help improve it. And that's kind of what it's all about, um, not just analyzing the data for the sake of analyzing the data. Now, I mentioned um, uh, when I showed the uh, historian selection in the database configuration that we have a tool called Aviva Insight. I really invite you to check that out because um, with very little or, or even no configuration, that tool can uh, automatically analyze uh, the data, the tags that you sent to it, and it will compare uh, tags against all other tags and learn what's going on and evaluate and show you when there's when there's any things that uh, uh, are outside of normal ranges. And you don't even have to configure that uh, really slick kind of tool. Uh, so again, that's a Viva uh, Insight, and we can push data to that uh, as well. 